Oh, who's the queen of this house? <laughs> Good morning. Just woke up. I fed the dogs breakfast when he's still downstairs eating. Rue follows me everywhere, so she's up here um, getting ready for the hair salon. I just did some light makeup. I still need to put mascara and do like brow gel, but time to get dressed, which is like the most taunting part of my day. Honestly, every day I just want to wear sweats, but I'm like, today I'm going to the hair salon, going to go see some girls. So I'm like, I should get cute, but it's just like, I don't know. It's hard when you're pregnant to get dressed. It's like the task that I dread every day. And I don't know how to explain it because before I was pregnant, I was like, I cannot wait to be like pregnant and have my belly out and stuff. But I feel like there's only certain situations where I want my belly fully out. And just like sitting at the hair salon is not one of them. So I need to find like a pant and a shirt that looks cute together. That's not sweatpants and not a sweatshirt. I ended up going with this little Helsa sweater slash like sweatshirt type of thing. And then I put this Splits 59 t-shirt underneath. These are like the best rib t-shirts. I think they're like 59 bucks. They're really, really good. I love these in the Daily Drills crops, which I think I've talked about. I can link both. It's like I wear them under all my sweaters. And then I'm wearing these pants from Hatch. I have my sweater like kind of front tucked, but it's a elastic waistband. So it's super comfortable for my belly. These are from Hatch um, Maternity. So these are actually like a maternity brand. They're so comfy, cozy, kind of pricey, but I know these will fit me like continuously throughout my entire pregnancy. So just wearing these and then I have on these little white, have on some white, just some white sneakers. I'm gonna grab this bag just cause all my stuff's already in it and make my water. I have my hair in a slick bun and my whole <laughs> extension row is like literally popping out and showing in the back because they are so grown out. I've been counting down the days till this hair appointment and it is finally here. So I'm gonna fill up my water, bring my safety water bottle with me, stopping at a coffee on the way. I was gonna make a coffee here, but we're out of milk. So we'll probably run to the grocery store after the hair salon, which I'm sure will take. Oh, is my lens dirty? I feel like it always. I feel like the hair salon will take a little bit today just because I'm getting all new hair extensions. We're gonna go a little bit longer and a little bit blonder, so I'm excited. Came to Starbucks quick. I got the cheese and fruit protein box. I figured I would just put this little snack in my purse um, because I always get hungry sitting there and I figured buying that was cheaper than, I mean, I could have brought my own snacks, but buying that was cheaper than doing DoorDash or something. The other night when I DoorDashed, I was like the delivery fee and then after you tip and everything, it's just literally insane. So I need to stop doing that on my rocket money app that i talked to you guys about um they literally my uber eats section because it budgets it out and it's like this month you've spent this much on uber eats and i'm always like between dylan and i it's just bad we need to stop doing that so anyways then we've got the coffee but i think that they might have made it wrong because it looks so much darker than normal i think instead of white mocha they did vanilla syrup which is fine i mean i'm not gonna say anything i have not been to starbucks in so long I feel like they changed their ice. Is that true? Cause like right now it's crushed ice and I'm here for that. I want a crushed ice machine so bad in our house but I can't get myself to spend money on it. Our house right now that we're currently in, the ice machine would have had to have sat on the counter and it actually wouldn't even have fit under the counter, the one that I wanted. But the new house, it would fit in the pantry and there's a plug-in in there. And I'm like, is that something I wanna do or do I just like get over it and stop being bougie, Rachel? Something about the ice though, I feel like it just really elevates your coffee if it's good ice. This drink is good, but if you get it, definitely stick with the white mocha. Don't do the vanilla, it's not as good. It's what I get for not making my coffee at home. Okay, I'm heading to, let's see how far we are. Hair salon, salon shade, 18 minutes. We'll be like 10 minutes early, which I always like to be a little bit early to stop. <laughs> yes, you can scoop mine over. Oh no, you're fine. Wow, your quality is way better than mine. How? I have like the iPhone 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine's like the 13. So I like the older ones because everyone that gets a new iPhone, I always hear them complain about the new camera, like oh. how it like over edits your picture. And all I feel like um, that's definitely true. Yeah. 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 Okay, new hair day. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm excited. Yes. Yeah, these are so good. <laughs> I mean, the grow out's good though. Like, it's. I mean, I'm glad that I let it grow out because I, now I'll have the extra length with my natural hair so we can yes. keep the extension yeah. a little longer. But it is tough. But the color, like, needs help, I feel like, too. Yes. Um, are you still feeling like you want to go a little brighter? Yes, I want to go brighter and then I want to try to do 
maybe I think we talked about last time I was in here to color match like one less piece of hair in the weft. Yes. So, so like a little bit heavy in the bottom. Hair. Yeah, I just feel like it's a little heavy, and then also when I do a bun, I feel like my bun's kind of big. Yeah, like I kind of really just big. want it a yeah. little thinner. Perfect. Okay. okay. Then I can thin out the bottom. Of course. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. We can just kind of thin. Well, we yeah, at least you know you put extensions in well. None of the things popped out. Right, I know. <laughs> but this is before. I feel like my natural hair has gotten much longer, much healthier because we've stopped bleaching it so much. We're going to pull the blonde up a little bit more, like some light face framing, and then maybe just a little bit throughout here to give it a little bit more blonder effect when I pull my hair up and then add in some length, which I'm excited about. Here's some pictures of the hair colors that they pulled. We're not gonna use all of these, but we're not going extremely blonde, just layering a little bit. I couldn't imagine leaving it this long, but I feel like at one point I did have it this long. I think you definitely had longer hair. I don't know if I did it long, but... Back from the hair salon, I have new hair. I'm so excited about it, a little bit longer. And she styled it a really cute way. She did like half crimping, half curls. So I feel like it just looks like natural beachy waves. It's a little puffy right now. I need to like hairspray it down a little bit, but really happy with how it turned out. I go to Salon Shade in Nashville and I see Megan. If you guys are on TikTok, I did a hair like a hair vlog style TikTok. So that will be up on my TikTok before this is up. So if you guys wanna go look at that as well. But I also ran to Whole Foods after the appointment because I needed to get a few things for dinner and the Whole Foods was close, but I, you guys know my thing on Whole Foods. I hate grocery shopping there for like big stock ups because I just feel like it's so overly priced. But whenever there's like certain items that I want that I can only get at Whole Foods, I'll definitely go out of my way to go. Um, and I was passing it. So I wanted to give you guys a little Whole Foods haul because I got some fun like little snack things. And then tonight for dinner, I'm gonna make caprese chicken. It's supposed to be like caprese chicken breast, but I got chicken thighs because I think that they're better. Cook them on the skillet. And then I got some already sauteed green beans from like the hot bar to heat up with it. And then some couscous. For like little sides i got these sea salt chips i love this brand they also have like a pico de gallo flavor and they're so yummy i got a hi Ru. i missed you baby <laughs> i missed you baby i got a little pico de gallo just like a already made one to snack on for a little because it's only around 3 30 and dylan and i are going to eat dinner around seven so i'm gonna have that as a snack and i'm also gonna have a little bit of this tortellini this is the it's from like their cold bar the greek tortellini pasta salad so good this is super lazy girl i could have easily sauteed these myself but it's two dollars and it'll feed dylan and i for a serving so i got that for dinner just green beans this is like my favorite cracker and cheese combo i get at whole foods this is the seaside english cheddar it's so good and they already have it cubed and then these fire hook baked crackers i get them in the sea salt they're really yummy when i walked in they had the sumo citrus oranges like on display and they were just like calling my name they looked so like juicy and i've been craving anything like juicy juices fruit anything like that so i got those i specifically went for this green juice which i'll show you in this peanut butter this is like their peanut butter that you get out of the um like dispensary thing it's like fresh ground up peanut butter it's so good this cold pressed juice is my favorite it's the green lemonade it has apple cucumber spinach kale and lemon it's just the whole foods brand i get this mini one it's uh one quart and i'll pour it over ice in the mornings it lasts me like throughout the week i do like a little cup in the morning i love this brand for orange juice so i got some of their lemonade i've been craving lemonade and there's no sugar added so that i also got some more bananas and then i also specifically went to whole foods for this sheep milk yogurt i really like it i honestly prefer it over greek yogurt and it is like better for you easy to digest it's a2 protein so i always pick that up when i go to whole foods because my Publix doesn't have it garlic and olive oil couscous like i mentioned also ignore this big old mess that we have going on in the kitchen. I saw this little Asian inspired chopped salad kit I thought would be good and yummy for like a lunch one day, just like an easy lunch. I was out of granola and I want to do like yogurt parfaits in the morning because I've been eating a ton of English muffins, but I feel like all I do is eat bread. Like I eat English muffins in the morning and then I eat a sandwich. So I'm like, I need to switch it up a little bit. <laughs> so that's kind of why I got this for like a lunch one day. And then I want to start doing yogurt bowls again, but I just needed a new granola. And this one is a local one from Tennessee. 
see. So I'm excited. The ingredients were really clean and yummy. Some grape tomatoes for dinner tonight. I got a honey crisp apple that looked so good. Some more of this whole milk. This is my favorite brand of whole milk to get. And I think that that's it. So that's my little mini Whole Foods haul. I need to get all this stuff picked up, but I spent most of my day at the hair salon whenever I get new extension hair and like actually color my hair. For the longest time, I haven't been actually coloring my hair. I've just been doing toners. So we actually did like some highlights and stuff in my hair today. So that always takes longer. And then I did a toner as well. And then I got fresh extension hair. I just have one row in and we left them a little bit longer. So then my natural hair, which is like this length right here, can grow longer and match my extension hair. Cause if you guys are extension girls, you know, buying new extension hair is expensive and you don't want to have to keep buying longer hair once your real hair gets like past that length. I mean, you could cut it but I'm trying to grow my hair out. So anyways, I feel like my natural hair is looking pretty healthy, which I'm happy about because I haven't been dying it a ton. So I'm excited to have like some fresh hair. But anyways, I'm gonna get all this stuff put away. I need to clear off this table back here that's underneath the gallery wall. We actually sold it on Facebook. Well, Dylan did. He listed on Facebook Market and he's gonna go drop it off tonight when he gets home from work. I don't know why you're freaking out, but like nothing's happening right now. I'll give you a handshake. Thank you. Sold this little glass console table, which we could have probably found room for it in the new space, but I wasn't in love with it because it doesn't provide any storage. It honestly just collects clutter like you can see here. So we are getting rid of this. I sold it and we're gonna, in the new space, get something that actually provides some like storage for like baby's toys, play mats, things like that, that need to be out in the living room. So we'll have somewhere to like put them away. Let's see who does listen first, sit. Who's gonna listen? Rue, you're smacking Winnie in the face with your tail. Sit. Winnie was sitting first. Winnie's the best. You guys want your treat? I just got two little packages in the mail and I started unboxing them. Then I was like, wait, I should show you guys. I got some stuff from this brand by Chari. By Cherry. By Chari. I'm not exactly sure how you say it, but they have really, really stunning jewelry. And I got to pick a few things out. I'm so excited. Okay. Let <laughs> me take my shoes off. I'm like walking around the house in my shoes, which I hate doing. I feel like most people think it's gross walking around your house in shoes and a lot of people are like, I hate doing it, but then it's like something that you just do. So do you walk around your house in shoes or like when you have guests over, do you make them take their shoes off? I don't know, I feel like it's very 50-50 or maybe I'm just gross and living in a world where I put my shoes on. Well, it's hard too, because it's like all my shoes are upstairs when I'm trying on clothes and I'm making an outfit. I get my shoes on upstairs and then I walk downstairs so then I'm wearing my shoes in the house. And then also when I have guests come over, I'm like, I don't want to be like, take your shoes off, please. <laughs> be one of those people. I don't know. But I always think about it because I think about how gross it actually is. But anyways, besides the point, I got some new gold hoops, which I'm really excited about. I don't really have a medium size like this. So I think these will be perfect. And then I picked out these earrings, which are so dainty and small, but basically... They thread through, it's gonna be so hard for me to show you. It's just like this and they thread through one side and then they hang. So it's like, kind of like that. And there's two of them here. So I figured in my second hole could be cute. You guys are balancing on the box, but they sent me over an initial necklace, like a little diamond initial necklace with the baby's initial on it. So obviously I'm not gonna wear it or show it until um, the baby's here. Cause we're not gonna share the name until he's born but I'm so excited, it's so cute. So we got that. And then I also got one other package from this brand called Pauline. I took out this little leather case and it said the brand and I was like, wait, I wanna film and show like a little unboxing for this purse because they have stunning handbags. Like I think that they have a showroom in New York and I have a furry bag from them that I never actually carried this winter, but I have it up in my closet. And I wanted this bag originally when they reached out, but it was always sold out and they just, restocked it so, so they put this in here and it says dear rachel i'm thrilled to share our products with you this is the uke bag and a little extra gift i hope that you enjoy the craftsmanship and you like them as much as we do with love from paris and hope so thank you paris and hope if you guys are watching i love y'all stuff the bags are so chic i'm excited to show you guys assuming this is the little extra gift wait so Oh my God, wait, so cute. It's a little wristlet wallet. Do you like it? <laughs> I was like, what is that? This is so cute. What a great idea. So it can be long like this to open it. Little coin purse type of thing. You put your cards, a little bit of change in here. And then you can go like this to secure it. And then it can go around your wrist. You can hold it. 
and it's tiny enough to put into a little bag. I was looking at my hair in the mirror and it looks like up close, I can't tell if you can tell on the vlog, but it looks like I got electrocuted up here. And I feel like every time I get my hair blown out, my like all my baby hairs, I have so much new growth of baby hair. Um, I feel like it's like all sticking up. So if it looks crazy, I feel like it's because my hair got blow dried. Torn between getting the tan or the black and I went ahead and got the tan because or no, I went ahead and got the black because I feel like I have a ton of tan bags. And sometimes I love doing an all white outfit with like a black bag and black flip flops or like black sandals. So I kind of pictured doing that with this bag, but it's so different and so cute. I just love it for tropical trips. It's like the most unique bag. I have nothing like it. I've been trying to be very selective about bags and stuff. I haven't bought a new bag in a while. I bought myself that Bottega bag for Christmas. Um, and I recently sold a bunch of stuff to the real real. I feel like I have all these bags and I carry the same ones over and over again. So I feel like if I'm gonna spend money on a purse, I wanna make sure it's gonna be like different from the rest of my collection. It's gonna be something that I'm gonna like grab or wear or style with outfits. So I feel like this is gonna be so cute for summer, any like beach tropical trip. Um, I always love bringing like a little bag like this and it just like opens really easily like this. And then the inside is actually pretty spacious. It's like a little basket. I could probably fit my phone, wallet, mini vlog camera. There's my phone in there for reference, but this bag has been sold out for months and they just recently restocked all the colors. So they have a tan and then like a lighter tan and then this black. So check out this brand if you're looking for like a nice quality purse. I just wanted to do my little unboxing of my fun packages I got. Cleared off that table so then when Dylan gets home, we can get it into my car and he can take it to, he's meeting them at like a grocery store um to drop that off and then we'll start on dinner i really need to bring a tripod downstairs i was just watching some youtube on the couch i'm about to make dinner dylan just got home and we loaded the table up in my car it fit like perfectly good morning you guys it is the next day thursday i think it's thursday and it's about to pour rain. The skies are getting so dark. Um, but I've just been doing some work around the house. I already had breakfast this morning. I got dressed in this Elwood set, which by the time this video goes up, I think that these will be live. It's their new heavyweight collection. Obsessed. Um, here's the sweats that match the crew neck. I wore this crew neck in the Super Bowl vlog. And I am obsessed with it. I've washed it several times and it holds up. I feel like Elwood is just so so good and then here's a little bump update i'm currently 25 weeks i'll be 26 weeks tomorrow i feel like it's definitely growing daily now um and we're feeling large over here <laughs> i always do like a large in the crewnecks or hoodies medium normally in the pants for some reason this collection runs a little bit oversized so if you're not pregnant like me i would definitely do like a small if you're more my size um runs true to size i would say but fits oversized naturally um, and then the underneath shirt. This is also Elwood. I wear mediums and all of their like core basic tees. They're so good. I've already had breakfast. I haven't had coffee yet, but I'm kind of waiting to do like a little middle of the day coffee. Um, so I just made myself a green juice and I'm gonna take like my daily supplements for the day. And then I just poured myself a little glass of lemonade and I'm gonna put my Armor Colostrum in here. I do three to four scoops daily. You guys know I've been raving about this stuff and I have a code, so I wanted to share. The recommended daily amount is like three to four scoops daily, which is what I do, um, but you can go up to as many scoops as you like since it is a bioactive whole food. So I'm gonna make mine here and show you guys. I was just poured into a little cup, shoot it back, but you can add it into any beverage. Like you can put it into your coffee. Sometimes I do that um, and you literally can't taste it. This is the unflavored one. They have flavors that are really good too, but I love the unflavored because I can just put it into anything. I always just make sure that the beverage that I'm putting it into is cold. Like I could put it into this green juice, but I feel like I'm just gonna be sipping on this slowly and I just wanna get this taken. So I'm gonna put it into this lemonade. Armor Colostrum is the most potent, bioavailable, sustainably sourced colostrum on the market. I saw a lot of people talking about it and I got on the train because I saw a lot of people talk about how it's been helping their skin, which I was struggling with my skin a bit and I feel like this has totally helped. I was just froth mine, but you can also just like mix it into any drink. Oh, like I was saying, a ton of great benefits from the skin, immunity, your gut, um, your hair, focus, mood, energy, all of that, all in just this one product. Truthfully, I've cleared out a lot of my medicine cabinet and supplements that I was taking on the daily, and just this one product has replaced it, so I really love that. It strengthens the immune barrier, which stronger immune barrier, stronger immune system. I swear I have not 
felt under the weather since I started taking this product and I swear that it's because of this. I used to always get run down post holiday during these dreary winter months that we're kind of finally getting out of. And I like, I'm like, this is why I think. So I always keep on this, especially if I start to feel under the weather, I just up my scoops and I, just, I just love it so much. So I do have a discount for you guys, 15% off of your first order. If you go to tryarmor.com slash Rachel, I'll put the link here on the screen. I'll also link it down below, or you can enter the code Rachel at checkout and it'll get you 15% off your first purchase. Definitely check it out. If it sounds like something you're interested in, I swear by this product. I know there's so many supplements and products out there on the market, but this is one that I truly use daily. I take it with me to travel. They have travel packs, they have flavors all that stuff. So check them out. Again, it's tryarmra.com slash Rachel and it's T-R-Y-A-R-M-R-A.com slash Rachel. When I first started taking this, I was putting into my smoothies. Um, I was on like a big smoothie kick and so I was putting into there and I loved that. Um, now I just take it with juice or anything you put in your coffee. It's so easy to incorporate into your routine. So check them out, use the code. Um, if you've been anxious to try it, I know a lot of people have been talking about it. A lot of people take it and use it and love it. Thousands of five-star reviews on this product. So I will link it below have the link on the screen for you guys, but the code is Rachel for 15% off of your first purchase. Landed in my butt right here for the past few hours. It's around 1.30 now. Um, I'm just trying to get stuff together for taxes. It's like that fun time of year to file taxes. And you guys know if you're self-employed, that's always like fun to get everything together. Have a few loads of laundry going, just had a little snack. I had that tortellini that I got at Whole Foods yesterday. It's so good, it's literally almost gone. Um, my hair. Oh, Dylan's calling me. I know this is any job, but it's always so frustrating when I'm trying to get things done for Dylan and I, and he's always like ignoring my calls in meetings, in meetings, like he'll respond and say, sorry, in meetings. And I'm like, I get it. You're at work, but I'm also like, I'm trying to get things done. So he just called me back finally and I got some answers to some stuff that I needed. So I've just been doing like paperwork type of boring task on the computer, nothing fun to show. I'm hitting my afternoon slump though. So I'm gonna make my coffee, which I always like save for the perfect time of day because I only have one coffee a day while being pregnant. And then I think I'm gonna, I have an Amazon package that's coming any second. I'm like tracking the delivery down. One of you guys sent me, um, I need to put my phone down. My arm is like, <laughs> one of you guys actually sent me an Amazon link and was like, you need these for moving. Cause in my last vlog, I talked about how I would just buy the cardboard boxes and then I recycle them. Um, because keeping up with all those bins and stuff, every time you move, unless you're hiring movers and they're boxing up everything with like boxes they're providing, or you have like a huge garage space or storage space or attic space to put a ton of boxes, which in our new place we don't. Um, it's hard to like keep bins and stuff. Long story short, one of you guys sent me a link with these Amazon. They kind of almost look like the bags or yeah, like the foldable collapsible bags that I put our Christmas decor in, like our big Christmas tree is in one of those bags, but they're like smaller and they sell them on Amazon. I can link them and I'll show you guys them once they're here. I got a set of 12 of them. So I figured I would go ahead and get like all the baby's stuff packaged up because I know exactly where that's all going once we move into the place, get that packaged up, get some stuff packaged up in like the guest closets that we're not using. Um, I think the last thing that I'll move over to the house is the kitchen and then our bedroom and bathroom just cause that's the stuff we use daily. But everything else I wanna kind of start getting boxed up just while I have the energy to do it um, throughout random days. So we move in exactly a week from tomorrow, we get to have the keys to the new place, which is exciting and I have nothing boxed up. I've decluttered a little bit. We sold like that table last night, like you guys saw, and then I sent a bunch of stuff off to Goodwill and I have another truckload that I need to go take to Goodwill. Um, but other than that, I haven't really packaged anything up and I'm starting to kind of be like, wait, we need to get this house packed up. We're gonna make a coffee. I might sit down and watch like a YouTube video or something. A few of the people that I like to watch on YouTube have posted new vlogs in the past few days. So I thought I would sit down, take like a little break from this computer and then start packing up some stuff. Hopefully the bags will be here by then. I think that they were supposed to deliver like around three o'clock. So I've been like checking my Amazon like a hawk. <laughs> Amazon packages here. I actually got another package that I ordered, which I didn't think this was gonna be here until like a few days, but it came today. So. This is not the moving stuff, but I saw yesterday on. Probably shouldn't do that with my teeth. Yesterday on Instagram, Lauren Lane, if you guys follow her, she has two little boys. I love following her for like her. She posts like so many good Amazon recommendations, house stuff. Like I just love her content. She lives here in the city. Um, and I met her at a Windsor lunch one time, and she was just like the sweetest. So I love following her, and she posted this sweatshirt. 
and she said she said it was kind of a dupe for the like this mock neck joe brown sweatshirt that she has that is literally like over 200 dollars. i think this one was on sale for 29 bucks on amazon i got a size xl i think if i wasn't pregnant i would do a large I got it in this gray color and then I also got it in a dark like charcoal color which I'll show you guys once it comes in. I'll like wear it in the next vlog or something I'm sure so you guys can see it on but I'm obsessed. I'll link it below. It has a mock neck which I've been really into necklines like this like that park sweatshirt I have. I really love that sweatshirt. Her stuff is always sold out really quick and sometimes I like just like plain clothing. I think that's why I love Elwood stuff so much like sometimes I don't want like a huge graphic on the front of my shirt because i feel like i can just wear it more and get more use out of it and style it way more ways so i thought this would be perfect for like end of winter going into spring with like biker shorts leggings literally anything so i got an xl i hope that it washes well she said it does which is why i pulled the trigger on it normally i don't buy like amazon clothing and things like that because i feel like once i wash it once like any linen pants or anything that i've ever bought on there i wash it once and they like completely shrink up so We'll see how that is. I'll keep you guys updated with how it stays. Um, and then my boxes came. Here's a little picture of one of them right here. I got the white or like the clear ones. And there's 12 of them. They look like this. And then you open them up and they are pretty decent size. I think I got the medium, but you can get the large. They have a smaller one, but like this will definitely fit a ton. I probably only need about two or three of them to fit all the baby's clothes in. But I'm so excited about these because how genius. You can literally just collapse them and they'll fit into a closet drawer in the new place. So we don't have to have all these boxes and bins like sitting out. So, so excited about these. I'm going to go pack up some of the baby's clothes. But I was on, I was on freaking TikTok and I saw this girl making blueberry muffins. And I was like, those look so good. I don't know what it is about being pregnant. But when you want something, I know I talked about this with the donuts. But like when you want something and you crave it, you set your mind to it. Like if Dylan's like, I really want pizza for lunch, but it's not something I'm really wanting, but I'm like, okay, like I never, we never really have pizza. So like, we'll get it. Now in my head, I'm like, okay, tonight we're having pizza. So now I'm like in the mood for pizza. I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone, but that's just like kind of how I am. And I feel like it's heightened with pregnancy. So now I'm like sitting on the couch, watching TV, drinking my coffee. I'm like seeing blueberry muffins and I'm like, I wanna make homemade <laughs> blueberry muffins so bad. So I went on Pinterest and I looked up a few recipes and there's this one recipe that I have everything for cause I just bought some blueberries yesterday at Whole Foods. So I think I'm gonna make those quick, even though like I'm not good at baking, I'm just gonna like try it. But I have all the ingredients and I'm like, why not just try to make some homemade blueberry muffins. So we're gonna do that quick and then we'll get to packing. It's like a gloomy day, it just started raining. Like I told you guys, the sky was getting pretty dark. But yeah, we're gonna make some muffins right now. This random, random time of day, I'm like, I really want muffins so badly. Like a hot blueberry muffin with like fresh butter on the top, so good. Muffins are done. It was literally so quick. I just ate one. They're so yummy. So I'll link the recipe below. I used fresh blueberries. You can use frozen, but the fresh are so good. I probably could have cooked them like another minute or so, but I felt like they were burning on the outside. So they're really, really yummy though. Minus like the big pieces, like the changing mat, the play mat, things like that that are in the other room. All of his clothes I just fit in here, which <laughs> actually has so many clothes I didn't even realize. Um, and then everything like miscellaneous in here, like random toys, just like random shoes, things like that, sound machines, stuff that people have bought us, little stuffed animals, stuff like that. All fit in here. I still have like plenty of room in both. And I'm so impressed because I thought that was going to take like two 
more bags to do so these are really spacious so i'll link them for you guys it's super dark in here because the sun is setting but this is what i'm talking about like random stuff like diaper bag monitor stuff like that this i can just throw in the back of my car and move over myself i don't need to like put them all into bins but yeah that's basically it minus this stuff and just those two bags i'm very pleased with those you have to be in it we're doing it together uh -huh. I'm gonna scoot my chair over. You just got out of the frame because you were chewing and now you're chewing more. Poppy sent over, what does it say on it? This flavor from, the. this flavor is from the future. Mystery flavor. Ooh. What do you think it's gonna be? Um, is it a new flavor or it's one they've already had? I think it's new and it's clear. That's I don't so know. weird. I mean, there's what? I think it's gonna be. There, what are the? Different flavors. <laughs> There's already so many flavors. I'm gonna try it first and then I won't say anything. Okay. And then you guess, and then we'll both at the same time say what we think it is. Is that how we should do it? Mm -hmm. From smelling it, I think it's like lemon because it smells like Sprite. Wait, I think this is a flavor that they already have. Yeah, I think it is too. <laughs> What? <laughs> I almost spit that out everywhere. Was it? Which one does it taste like to you? It's definitely lemon lime. No, it, they don't have lemon lime. <laughs> it's ginger lime. Ginger lime. Right? Doesn't yeah. it taste like that one? Yeah, I agree. Or it's like them coming out with a sprite, which they don't really have yet. But I don't know what they would call it. Lemon lime then. Yeah, I guess. I don't Maybe know. it is lemon lime. It's pretty solid. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one of my favorite ones, honestly. I really like it. Same. Is this the only flavor? Like, are all of them that flavor? No, it was a box. It was like a curated box that they sent, and then they sent two of these over. But I figured we would just share one. No, yeah, really good. Isn't that crazy? Infused with apple cider vinegar, you would never even know. It tastes so good. Is that bad for you? <laughs> no, apple cider vinegar. Dylan's home from work. We had pizza for dinner. He brought home five points pizza. This is my favorite pizza literally ever. It's just like a garlic white sauce. It has tomato and then you put arugula in the center with like this dressing. It's so good. Dylan got some like meat type of pizza, but I was reading this can because there's another one of these poppies and it said in this box. So they sent this thing over, which was so cool. And we've been waiting to try it because there's a new flavor. <laughs> Literally this entire huge poppy box. And inside it had two of the mystery flavors, which is coming this summer. And it said like, read the can for clues, which I should have done before we tried. I didn't even read the can, but it says, I'm smooth, I'm sweet, I'm a soda shop treat. Don't call me nostalgic because those others can't compete. If you want another taste of me, you'll have to wait till summer. So I guess it's coming out summer. Don't drink this too fast or it'll be a total bummer. I think it's like some type of Sprite soda because they have that cola one. This one right here, I think. Doc Pop. I know this one's, yeah. Dylan, I think that this is like a, a new, it is new and it's like gonna be Sprite, I think. Oh, really? Because listen to the rhyme on it. It said, read the can. It says, I'm smooth, I'm sweet, I'm a soda summer, so don't drink this too fast, it'll be a total bummer. Hashtag soda's back. What did you do? The soap, the soap, <laughs> soap. Like, there was a, this thing was like clogged up and when I hit it. <laughs> Did it get everywhere in the bathroom? No, just on me. Just leave it. You're going to have to wash it anyways. But yeah, don't you think this is Sprite? Like lemon lime soda? I do. I'm talking way too much about this fucking soda. Who cares? Yeah, I mean, you are nonstop talking. <laughs> You know what? Maybe it's because I've been by myself all day and I'm excited to talk to someone. Have you ever thought of that? Yeah, I'm excited to be here and listen to you. Okay, let's start get like um loading my car up. Okay. So I'm getting stuff from upstairs. I'll show you. Wait, but also, babe, like, why did the trash not come again? Wow, look who's actually doing his own laundry. What do you mean? <laughs> Babe, I put away your laundry nine times out of ten. Mm, not really. Out of the kindness of my heart, but like, if I don't put it up, it will sit in the hallway for weeks. No, till Sunday. <laughs> I can't.
Can you stop? If she messes up my laundry, she's sleeping outside. <laughs> no, she's not. Rue, put your paw on this white t-shirt. <laughs> Two problems for moving out of this house. Number one. Oh my God, my face is so dry. Number one, I can't get this off of the mirror. And I'm scared when I try to, it's going to shatter this mirror. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> stop. And then also number two is those little things on the tile. Okay. Did you just see the lights go out? Yeah. Why do they do that? I don't know. Is that a tool or something that we could scrape it? Like get like a razor blade or something? I'm sure I have a tool for it. <laughs> Brought this upstairs, but I never shared it. I got this little packaging from Orate. You guys know I love their jewelry and they sent over a little pregnancy gift. The other one's in here, but I'll just show you this one for the sake of me having one hand, but they're these like solid gold little huggies. They're so pretty. I think they'll look good stacked with my little diamond one that I wear in the second hole. This one is from RW Fine, and then this is the one I just put in. It's so cute. Okay, we're gonna end off this vlog here, and then I'm gonna start up a new vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, so I'm gonna do like a little weekend vlog. Um, we're gonna get some more packing done, um, move some stuff into a storage unit, stuff like that, so it'll be like a little bit more moving. And then all the vlogs following will probably be like a little moving series coming up because we move in a week from tomorrow, which is exciting. So we, I feel like I could get the house packed up right now, but then it's kind of like we're living in it at the same time, so I don't really wanna do that. So slowly we'll start moving stuff over starting the next couple of vlogs. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any of the moving content coming up. I'm gonna do like a little mini moving series, which I'm excited about. Weekend vlog coming next. I will see you guys in the next vlog. And have anything to say, Dylan? No. Nothing you wanna to say to them? <laughs> <laughs>